I'm Zachary Bar Abel. This is Miles the Monkey. We are Monkey Miles. Please like, subscribe if you like this content. Today we're going to explain to you how we booked two $15,000 Qantas first class flights for 10% of that. Roughly $1,500. Okay, we are back with a quick wardrobe change. Got the Monkey Miles merch on. You can pick it up at Teespring, link down below. But you want to hear about how we got $15,000 Qantas first class flights for 10% of the cost. We're going to hop right into the review. So I have this loaded up. It's on Monkey Miles. Qantas first on the A380, LA to Melbourne. It's a unicorn redemption. What I mean by that is it's really difficult to find one. We got two seats and we booked with Alaska miles and you don't even need any miles. No miles, no problem. We're going to show you how. So go down through this. I've laid it out in the review. I have a whole section here. We're gonna click straight through how I found and booked two Qantas first class tickets. So we flew from LA to Melbourne to Sydney on Qantas. There's three routes. There's LA to Melbourne, LA to Sydney, and Dallas to Sydney. Those are the three routes that they fly on the A380 with the first class cabin. We actually flew from LA to Melbourne to Sydney for 70,000. And then to get back, we found availability to go from Brisbane to Hong Kong to LA in Cathay Business and First for another 80. So we did it for 150,000 total miles. You don't have to have any miles in your account to do this. That entire itinerary would have been 3,000. It's probably over 40K worth of flights for 3K. It's pretty crazy. But Qantas specifically, $14,000, $15,000 flight for 10% of the cost. How do we do it? Let's get into it. So how did I find it? So I told you it's a unicorn redemption. Finding the availability. Uh, the easiest when you're going to use Alaska miles like we did is to, to utilize Alaska airlines.com so when you go to Alaska Air you will see a search engine that uh, when you search on the calendar function you'll see something like this pop up so this is from July of 2018 when I wrote this post it was after we had taken the flight and I'd forgotten the screen cap it from April so this is the availability from July of 18 currently I looked there's no flights available but if you subscribe to an alert service that my buddy Spencer has, it's, it's completely free, he just emails you. Um, pretty incredible. They'd let you know when space like this Qantas or Etihad or whatever opens up. And at, at one point there was four, this is maybe, I don't know, three, four weeks ago. Uh, it was up to four seats, I think, on one flight. So instead of having to laboriously just search and search and search, you can subscribe to them and uh, I'll have a link in, in the bio uh, for Spencer's. They, 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 just, they just email you. But anyways, this is how you can search on your own. I'm gonna walk you through. So uh, here's what it would look like when you search. Um, the reason that we use Alaska is because you can book Qantas flights with a bunch of different programs. You can search with a bunch of different programs. Alaska just happens to have the most favorable rates, 70,000 points and they're super cheap to buy when they put them on sale, typically. Typically around two cents. Right now they have a mystery bonus sale going on, link down below, uh, up to 50%. I was targeted for 50, drops the price to 1.97 cents. We're gonna get into that. But which program to book with? <clears throat> I lay it out right here. Alaska, 70K, American 110, BA 200. If you're a loyalist of one of those airlines, fantastic. Look, uh, you, use those miles, you have them. But if you're not, you're coming to this without any miles in your account. Alaska at 70 is, I mean, a, a deal. I mean, look at these other prices. 
And look at 70 compared to what it would be if you flew an economy. Look at economy, 42.5 for just 27,500 miles more. You can fly in first. So, how do you get those miles? How do you get the Alaska miles? Well, as I, as I put down here, how to get Alaska miles. I fly over, you know, I fly a ton. Alaska is my airline of choice, so I earn a lot of miles flying on partners like BA. I fly domestically on Alaska on certain routes with AA. I earn a bunch of miles, so I earn them pretty easily and quickly. But you may not, and so how do you get them if you don't have any miles in your account? So right here, you can click this link that we have in this post. Uh, that goes straight to the offer. That goes straight to the mystery sale. I also have a dedicated post. I'll have a link in the bio, which right now, uh, we updated every single time they change. So they used to have a 30% discount. Now they have a 50% bonus. This 50% bonus, if you're targeted for it, will price your miles at 1.97 cents. If you get a 40% bonus, that's what we used when we flew on Qantas first. We had a 40% bonus and we just populated our account with miles. Um, you can go to this dedicated post. There's links in here. This, these are affiliate links. They, they don't charge you anything extra, but because we're referring you in, we do make a commission. Uh, just as an FYI, it helps us out, so thank you. Um, the 50% bonus, look at that. It's tiered. So the more miles you buy, the bigger bonus you get. At the top tier, if you buy the max, if you buy 60,000, get a 30,000 uh, bonus, uh, you will be effectively buying those miles for 1.97 cents. Do not buy these speculatively. We lay this out, full disclosure. Airlines change their award charts. So you don't wanna just buy a ton of miles without having a specific redemption in mind or one you think that you're going to take relatively soon and you see that the space is available. So uh, what I mean by that is you don't wanna you know, pay $2,000 to buy a bunch of points to put in your account and then suddenly uh, they change their award chart. So then Alaska no longer charges 70,000. So you wanna make sure that that space is there, buy the points and then make the redemption all in one fell swoop. That's the best strategy, that's what we do. Um, one little caveat, if you're looking into to accessing this, is if you have elite status with Alaska, you can do this over and over and over again. So you can do this 90,000 point purchase for 1773.75, time and time and time again unlimited. However, if you don't have elite, I'm MVP gold. If you don't have elite status, you're capped at 150. That's really important because if you're looking at doing something like this or like say you want to do the entire itinerary as we did, right? Like we flew from LA to Australia and then Australia back and we went through Hong Kong. We baked in a stopover, which I have pointed out here as well. We did three nights in Hong Kong. It didn't cost us any more miles to stay there for three nights. We flew uh, in this wonderful Cathay Biz product up to Hong Kong. We stayed at the Grand Hyatt for three nights, used Privé, upgraded, it was insane. And then we flew back down here in Cathay first. So all of that was 150,000 miles. Now let's say uh, two of you want to do that and you each need 150. Well, you're capped. Unfortunately, if you don't have a lead status, you're capped at 150. So each person would need to strategize to populate their account with the proper amount of miles. But you want to run the numbers to make sure that if, if you buy a big bulk set of points, that if you are capped at 150, that that remainder doesn't push you down into the tiered offer to where you're only getting a 35 or 20% bonus on the remaining miles, because you can only purchase 150 a year. The thing to think about though, is that if you're trying to book multiple people, you can buy points in multiple accounts and you don't have to book yourself with those miles. So if I wanted to fly my mom or my dad using my points, it's completely permissible. You just want to make sure that when you're buying them, that you're populating your account with the proper amount of miles. So I've sort of explained how you would buy the points. I've shown you um, here uh, what it would look like uh, on the calendar. But let's go to Alaska Airlines. So here we can see uh, alaskaairlines.com. You want to look in here, see how it says one way and use miles. You want to make sure that you click this use miles uh, button here. I want to show something that's really important because as I showed you over here, this is what the calendar looks like when there is availability 
and that availability is on Qantas. When you just search normally, you're gonna get this big long list of, of options. So you wanna click on calendar over here and view by. When you click on calendar, it's gonna show you all of the, avail all of the available single dates within a certain month. And you can see here there's variable pricing. So the one thing to note, and I'll show you, I'll just pick a random day. So here's March 27th. The way that Alaska works is Alaska is going to price the itinerary from point A to point B based on whatever the highest cabin of service is on a single leg. Case in point, here is LA to Sydney, Sydney to Melbourne at 55,000 plus $51. Now we can see over here, when we look at the Alaska chart, it says business class is 55,000. So it'd be easy to get confused when you look at this to say, oh my gosh, well, I'll, I'll just lay over in Sydney. You want to click and see, well, what is the mixed cabin? Boom, LA to Sydney in coach, Sydney to Melbourne in business. So Alaska is pricing this because this segment is in business. It's pushing it up to 55,000. The same thing is if we go up here and like, let's just, let's just take a look. Um, award calendar, you can search by award calendar. Let's look at fine flights, LA to Melbourne. Um, let's click on first class. So we see a bunch of dates. So this is going to be in first class, 225. So this is probably Emirates or some configuration of Emirates. Here we go. And again, boom, LA to Dubai in coach. Then the Dubai to Melbourne segment in first. So you want to make sure that you're identifying that and don't get tricked by the 80K option either. Because a lot of times they will show American options and that will be a domestic US leg that is pricing in first class with a leg from America to Australia in coach. So don't get suckered by something like that and go and buy your points and think that you found the availability. Do your due diligence because you should be seeing it for 70. I show you down here. Now this shows, see these tickets were super easy to book online. So this had a difference in cabin. So you wanna make sure because uh, you don't want it to, you don't want, you, you, you want to be in first class, right? So it's showing a difference here. So we, we, we open it up and what does it tell us? That the flight to Sydney was in first class and then the flight to Melbourne was in business. That's fantastic. That's what we want. Perfect. In terms of selecting seats, I, I like the A-line. Um, as you can see here, you have the entire aisle to yourself. These little partitions along here, they all come up super, super private. Um, that's why we chose the A-line. But anyways, this is how you go about finding it. I can do a tutorial at some point in how you could use Qantas' search engine or how you could use British Airways or Cathay Pacific to also find this inventory. American shows it as well. Um, this is how you can just straight up buy the points. If you have an American Express, for instance, like you can just transfer into Cathay Pacific or Qantas or BA. So if you don't mind paying some of these much higher, uh, these much higher rates, like uh, BA is 200, if you're sitting on just an absolute heap of points, well, you could search with Alaska to find the space, uh, or you could search with British Airways to find the space, but we're just, trying to give you a guide as to what could you do with no miles, utilizing a, a, uh, a point sale like is going on right now, a 50% bonus. This goes all, all the way to August 30th of 2019. Uh, we got the 50% target. You may get something else, price it out. But now you can go with from zero miles to accessing an unbelievable cabin for a fraction of the cost. That's what we're about. That's how we score the deals. So. If stuff like this is really interesting to you, you really like this, this is gonna be the content of Monkey Miles. This is gonna be the content of the blog. Alongside flight reviews, hotel reviews, we're gonna show you how we do this stuff, why we think uh, credit card points and airline points and all this stuff are incredible and give you access to things that you would never be able to do, or at least I would never be able to do if I didn't have these points. 
So if you like that, smash like, hit subscribe. We really appreciate it. If you like this merch, go check it out. Thank you so much. Yeah.